My name is Erin Hansen, and I'm here with my production manager, Margaret. Margaret helps me here in the gallery with scanning, varnishing, shipping. If you bought a painting from me, you have probably spoken with her. We're here today in the gallery with an old painting of mine from 2012, and we're going to show you how to clean a painting and apply a finishing varnish. When I finish a painting, we let it dry for six to eight weeks, and then we apply a retouching varnish, which is a temporary varnish that gives the painting an even sheen and gives it a layer of scuff protection. This temporary or retouching varnish allows the painting to continue to cure underneath. Since my paintings have very thick paint, it is best to wait for at least two years before applying a final finishing varnish. A finishing varnish is not necessarily required to protect a painting, but I recently found a conservation varnish used in art museums that actually provides UV protection for the painting, like putting on a pair of sunglasses over the artwork. Regular artist varnishes like Damar varnishes from Winsor & Newton do not have UV protection in them. As I said, it is not necessary to apply this varnish, but if your home gets a lot of sunlight, I think it's a good idea to apply a layer of this varnish. The first step is to put your painting where you can varnish it upright. It is best to do this while your painting is hanging on the wall or leaning against a wall and supported on a soft mat like a bath mat or a foam pad. You just want to make sure it is secure and not going to move while you're working on it. And next we're going to talk about cleaning your oil painting. These are latex-free makeup sponges. And these are a good tool to have. You can also use Q-tips, which work very well. If you're gonna use a makeup sponge, be sure to clean it first in deionized water, just to squeeze out any chemicals that might be in the sponge from the manufacturing process. You don't want any chemicals touching the surface of your painting. You can see that water is getting cloudy. There actually was quite a bit of material in this sponge. Here are some things not to use when cleaning your painting. Microfiber rags have little loops in the cloth which will snag on the little ridges in the painting and it could break off a piece of the paint. You also don't want to use paper towels because these will leave little pieces of fiber behind them on your painting. You also never want to use any cleaning solvents when you're cleaning your painting, such as Windex or vinegar. There are a surprising amount of blogs online suggesting that you use potatoes to clean your painting. However, we verified with museum conservationists this is not a good idea. There are chemicals in the potatoes that will eat away at your painting. Strangely enough, it is okay to use saliva. That has been verified as correct. The first thing I'm gonna do is dust the painting and clean the frame corners. I use a very soft paintbrush to dust the paintings. This is very soft. It's not gonna hurt the surface of the painting whatsoever. This is, um, a soft acryl brush from Raphael, two inches, to remove any dust on it before I apply the varnish. Otherwise, the little pieces of dust particles will get trapped underneath the varnish. Squeeze out the water here. And I'm going to dust along the inside of the frame here. The next step is to clean off of the painting any little specks of dirt or food or mud or bugs or anything like that that would have uh, collected onto the painting. So you can use um, a Q-tip, which, which you can dip in a little bit of water and squeeze the excess water out or you can use this damp makeup sponge here. I just have a few very small uh, bits of dirt to clean, so I'm gonna use this Q-tip right here. 
you can see here, it's like possibly some food collected and they just come right off. You can see it's very easy to clean. I'm just very gently dabbing at the, the painting here. And if it doesn't easily come off, I wouldn't worry about it. Now we can start on the conservation varnishing. This is a varnish I recommend using. You're gonna to wanna to wait a few years after, you, after the painting was made before you varnish with a finishing varnish. This is a special varnish that has a UV stabilizer in it, which is a great added bonus. I've opened a window to get some air circulation in here because the fumes can be a little strong. So you can see what I've done here is I put this wax paper tucked underneath the painting. And this is just to protect the frame from getting any drops of varnish on it. I'm gonna keep a piece of paper towel handy to remove any excess varnish from my brush. So I'm gonna take the brush and just dip the, the end of it, the end of the bristles into the varnish. And I'm gonna start from the top corner. And I'm just gonna gently apply the varnish as evenly as I can. This is very hard to mess up. So you, you don't have to stress about this too much. This, this can be done at home. You pretty much can't get it, get it wrong. The thing you have to worry about the most is just not splashing varnish onto the frame. So, I'm, so move slowly enough that you're not gonna splash the varnish. You should be um, systematic as you do, as you do this. I'm actually looking at the painting from the side as I paint because I can tell from the, the reflection and the glossiness of the painting where I've varnished and where I haven't. You can also go over the same spot many times. You are not going to hurt the painting. You see this thick piece of paint here? This is a place where varnish can collect on top of it. So I'm making sure that I get my brush in the little ridge or shelf of the paint stroke, just to make sure that you don't get a, a collection of varnish up on top of these little paint, uh, paint strokes. I'm gonna show here how you can uh, remove too much varnish if it starts to drip. You can take a paper towel, blot off your brush, and then use your brush to just remove any drips or areas that look too wet. So here we are with a completed varnish painting, and this is going to add a layer of protection on your painting for many years to come. It's like putting a pair of sunglasses over your piece.